Welcome back to St. George to a New Year. I'm Gary Spitt, and for those who do not know or maybe don't remember, I'm the Dean of Faculty for Character Counts. I may not be with you in Santa Cruz today, but I can tell you as I do this video, I'm sure it is a far better place to be than in my suburban Chicago home on this January day. I feel connected to St. George's even during break. Beatrice and I had a Skype call talking about the upcoming school year for you. I continue to be impressed by the dedicated and committed staff at your school who are striving to make a difference in the lives of children and young people in both academics and character. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was well along in his years and someone asked him how he continued to write so beautifully and remained so vigorous. He pointed to a blooming apple tree that was nearby and he replied, you see that apple tree is very old, but I never saw prettier blossoms on it than those it now bears. See that the tree grows a little new wood every year, he said, and I suppose it's out of that new wood that those blossoms come. And he said, like the apple tree, I try to grow a little new wood every year. Uh, being an educator demands that you grow each year. I, I'd like to say, he who dares to teach must never cease to learn. And as you begin a new year of learning, not only for your students, but for you as an educator, I, I want to share a strategy that I still use. In 1999, uh, Dan Britton and Jimmy Page wrote a book entitled, One Word That Will Change Your Life. See, one word is a simple concept uh, that delivers a powerful life change. Instead of creating endless goals and resolutions, the authors found that one word should be their driving force for the year. No goals, no wish list, one word. It becomes your guiding focus, or like I like to think, your touchstone for your teaching or my leading for the year. Well, my one word for 2019 is positivity. That is my attitude that I intend to bring each day, not only to my home life, but to my work. I want to define all it is that I do in supporting schools. I really like this young boy's perspective on, on my one word, positivity. came to school this year with that mindset or the one that says something I am going to change a kid's life today you know there will be students who come through your door that really needs you your attitude makes a difference I shared with Beatrice a number of ideas and gave her strategies that can help St. George in this your second year with character counts I told her that was more of a challenge for me than she might have realized. See, this is because your school has done so much in the first year, far more than any school or district I've ever worked with in my 15 years with Character Counts. Well, back to my one word. I think there's an activity here of having each of you determine what your one word will be. I'm not going to tell you what it should be, but my guess will be that it will be a desired skill a character trait or value, something that's important to you that, that's going to be a driving force for what it is you do 
working with character counts this year or all that you do with your life. This could be another way to expand character counts. You see, there are other desired traits besides those six pillars that can easily be integrated into your second year initiative. By the way, this is also an activity that you could do with your students and setting goals for this school year. What would their one word be or your class one word? I just hope you'll join me in working hard to grow a little new wood this year. Thanks and have a great school year, the committed and dedicated staff members at St. George.